What's going on everyone? So today I'm going to be watching and reacting and analyzing uh, to the Dead Rising 4 gameplay trailer for Xbox One. Um, it came out on July 27th and I still haven't seen it even though I'm a huge Dead Rising fan. If you want to see my videos for what I hope for in Dead Rising 4 and my review of the E3 trailer for Dead Rising 4, you can click up here and check them out. Oh, and also I said a reaction, but I'm, pro I'm not going to try and do what I did with the Star Wars Rogue One trailer because you guys didn't like how I kept commenting and stopping and commenting, so I'm just going to play it all in one take. I'm going to try and... Not, I'm going to try and talk over it because that's sort of what I want to do. I don't want to just, you know, be bored and blank face through the whole video. I want to talk through this and try and, you know, I don't want to just have the whole video playing because I just hate that with reaction videos. Anyway, a little off topic. I'm just going to watch the video and give you guys my thoughts and breakdown on it. So, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so I've got the headphones ready, I've got the video set up, and I'm going to watch it in 3, 2, 1, play. So, let's get into it. I've not seen this. came out like a month ago. Yeah, 27, yeah, roughly a month ago. Dead Rising 2 off the record. Dead Rising 2. Dead Rising 3. Alrighty, so, it's Dead, uh, Super Ultra Dead Rising 3 Arcade Remix Upper Edition in Xbox Alpha. Franchise has been known uh, Joe, and just Joe killing Nichols. tons and tons and tons of zombies. <laughs> And we've kind of upped the ante for Dead Rising 4. Better Sweet. Better about his zombies, nice. Frank yeah, still doesn't look like fall. Frank. And we're really excited to bring Frank West back. Yeah, they're excited to bring Frank West back. I'm excited for Frank West, if it Why is Frank West. Frank West. He has the biggest <laughs> balls I've ever seen of any <laughs> game character. Yeah, he, he does have big balls. He's, you know, really you risky, see. takes piss out of everything. Kicking, an ass kicking, talking, shit talking, bullshit, mother bullshit, mother ever. <laughs> you just love making me look like an ass, don't you? Uh, you don't sound like Frank, mate. I'm sorry. It's the 10th year anniversary it's of back the game, in and we wanted to go back awesome. to our roots. We're going back to Willamette. Go back to all that, mate. Hell yes. All about consumerism, consumerism. I like how it's got the Christmas theme, and I like how it's sort of a 10 year. All these stores and all the stuff that's in the stores. Yeah, you it's 10 years, so they're bringing, weapon. like, you, you know, Dead Rising 1, 2, and 2 off the record to next gen. And they're sort of, so we have I don't know, it's not really fan service, but they're the sort of giving us the mall, a game and they're giving us, you and know, the, the really remastered cool game, so I'm excited for that. An exosuit, I'm not excited for. I think that it's sort of. It's not getting yeah, too silly, to but exercise. it's sort like of just a machine. big game breaker, in, in my opinion. You can rip parking meters out of the ground and work your way through a horde that way, too. One of our favorite things about Dead yeah. Rising 4 are the zombies. They're not just the same old zombies you've seen before. They look like the same old zombies. They look like you can just, like, flick it and they all explode. Those are the survivors just been bitten, and they turn into a zombie before your eyes. Their eyes glow red, they come running at you, so hard to kill, not as good. And then we put another the, the, the graphics sort of, the skin looks sort of too shiny and smooth and glossy. Attacks, they will run, they will hide, use cover, all that okay. kind of stuff. Okay, so the zombies will dodge your attacks, Dead and Rising some of them will jump out at you. So that's better, cool. It's faster. I like how it's sort of more amazing. variety in the zombies. More zombies, more ways to kill them, more, more combo zombies, vehicles, more ways to kill them. mystery to solve. We brought back our favorite character, Frank, and we it still does. maintain what was really core to Dead Rising. I think fans are going to love it. I, yeah, it feels like they're sort of trying... Like, you know, as much as December 6th, 2016. December 6th, 2016. Alright. So that's the end of the video, guys. So, as I was saying before the video ended, it's sort of like they're... Because it's a 10-year anniversary, they're sort of trying to give stuff to the fans. Even though, you know, some companies are all like, oh, we're doing this for the fans, but in reality, they're like, you know what, we don't give a shit, we just want money. It kind of feels like they're... You know, saying stuff like, you know, we're going to try and make this better, we're going to try and add more variety in this, we're going to try and do this. It kind of feels like they're actually trying to, you know, make the fans happy, which I've said in my other video, uh, the, was it, the What I Hope For in Dead Rising 4, if you do what the fans love, and if you, you know, if you do what the fans love, you do what they're expecting, and you make the fans happy, the fans buy your game, and you get money. So the fans are happy with the game, and you're happy with the money, the fans win, everyone wins, so that's just what my message was to Capcom, and it sort of seems like they're doing everything right, they're bringing more variety in the zombies, they're going back to sort of the old roots and trying to sort of, like the impression I'm giving from this, it's not like they're like, oh, well, it's in Willamette, it's going to be good, no, they're actually sort of 
they're bringing it back for a reason because it's 10 years rather than just like, ah, oh, shit, we're running out of money. Uh, bring Frank back. Bring Willamette back. Uh, more zombies. It's sort of not like that. And I'm loving that Frank's back, even though he's not played by TJ Rotolo. The look... I don't know. I think that if they have, you know, I said this in my What I Hope For, if they took the look from Frank West or if they took the model from Super Ultra Dead Rising 3 Arcade Remix Hyper Edition X plus Alpha and they just uncell shaded that and they just put him in the game, it would look really good. This guy, I don't know, he doesn't look like an old Frank West. He looks like a different character in general. It sort of doesn't feel like they're doing a placeholder name or like a placeholder voice anymore. It's feels like they're actually going through with him because they showed a cutscene where he's like, oh, you want, what was it? You like making me look like an asshole or something like that. It looks like they're actually keeping that voice actor, which in my opinion, I don't know. As much as I'm like, oh, he's not the same, I'm going to give him a chance, all right? Because as much as the fans will be like, oh, this guy's not good, he's not TJ Rotolo, he still may be good. He's still, you know, I'm going to give him a chance because... Even though he's not TJ Rotolo, he still might be a good voice actor. If he's not, that's a different story. But I'm excited for this game. I like how they're sort of bringing more, you know, varieties. I'm not a huge fan of the exosuit, and I'm not a huge fan of Frank West, but if they fix that, then I'm going to be on board with this game. I love Dead Rising, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are excited for this game, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys.